Electoral College. Well, I mean, this is a quick one. Um, Electoral College uh, today, uh, by, you know, the Constitution requires the Electoral College to basically, in a sense, vote uh, for President of the United States. The Electoral College uh, voted today. Uh, the vote is in, and the vote is as expected, and as uh, we knew the day after the election, pretty much, or a couple of days after the election, uh, is that uh, Biden got a significant majority of the Electoral College and Trump lost. It'll be interesting to see how, what the strategy is now. Um, the Electoral College vote gets certified, in a sense, gets formally adopted and accepted by the House of Representatives on uh, January 5th. So uh, that's why, uh, 6th, sorry, January 6th. So that's why somebody yesterday was saying, oh, Trump's going to win on January 6th because the House is going to vote for Trump. No, I mean, uh, today it's official. Uh, I think this is pretty much it. Uh, I think it's over. In addition, the, the uh, Wisconsin Supreme Court, Wisconsin Supreme Court ruled today on one more of the many so-called uh, cases about uh, systemic election fraud or, or irregularities or uh, unconstitutional uh, laws or practices, uh, basically threw it out uh, and, uh, and uh, with, again, with a pretty scathing, um, with a pretty scathing um, rebuttal to the uh, Trump lawyers. So it, it looks like it's over. It looks like it's over. I thought it was over you know, pretty much day after the election, but... Many people have held on for hope that Trump would win. It's gone. So whether you support a Trump and you're disappointed or whether you didn't support Trump or, and are pleased, I don't think anybody's excited by Trump losing or Biden winning, uh, but I think uh, many people are not unhappy by it, uh, by uh, seeing uh, Trump lose. Now we'll see what happens to the Republican Party. The real question now is how we move forward. I just wanted to say something about the Electoral College. I mean, the Electoral College is, a, is in our Constitution. It's, it's the way we do elections. Um, it, it gives, uh, you know, really power to the states over the popular vote. The Founding Fathers were very much dedicated to a federal system, uh, very much dedicated to rejection of majority rule democracy, where the majority can vote on everything and the majority dictates everything. Uh, they believed in a constitutional-based republic, a constitution that limited the role of government, and states that had certain autonomy, and you know we can talk a little bit about that autonomy in a minute, but certain autonomy about running uh, the state and about the laws within the state up to you know up to a point, uh, including autonomy around election. You know, one of the frustrating things about the Texas lawsuits, other lawsuits, is that the whole point of if you're an originalist, if you believe in the Constitution, the whole point of the founders was there's certain issues that have to be left to the states. And the idea that one state would sue another state because this state didn't like the way another state did something would then require a federal court, the Supreme Court, to dictate to all states how to do something uniformly. So, it's uh, it, it, the fact that conservatives then are suing states in order to get them to behave in a particular way. I mean, it, it, it's just the same old story of conservatives not having an ideology, not sticking to any ideology, but doing what they think will be necessary to win. Uh, in other words, adopting a completely pragmatic view of the world and abandoning any semblance of reverence to the founding fathers and reverence to the constitution uh, and abandoning it. The whole point of our system is to allow states these kind of, th th this ability to be autonomous. Um, the Electoral College also makes it, assures us that candidates, when they, you know, run for office, on a, on a national ticket for president, uh, have to pay attention to many states. They don't just focus on a few cities because that's where the election is going to be decided, as it would be 
if it was if it was a popular vote. I mean, if it was a popular vote, you would spend almost all your time in New York and California. Those were two, the two states that you would spend all of your time because those are the two states that would decide your fate. As it is today, that is not the case. You actually spend time in a lot of different states. And as more states become competitive, people will have to spend time in, in more of those states. You don't become beholden to the heavily populated cities at the expense of everybody else. And you, you know, if it's a popular vote, then the voting has to be standardized. Then the voting procedure has to be standardized. The standards, everything has to be standardized across all states. If it's an electoral college, each state gets to authorize its own methodology for running an election. And as long as it doesn't violate any principle of the Constitution, then it is fine. So uh, I, I think, you know, as you know, I think the founders were geniuses. I think they invented the system for a reason. I think those reasons hold up. I think generally we want uh, to have a small, limited federal government. We want small, limited state governments too, but we want a small, limited federal government. We do not want a federal government that now intervenes in the states regulating even elections. That would only legitimize and justify the federal government from taking over more and more and more things that should be relegated to the state. So I, I like the Electoral College. Uh, there's going to be a push to get rid of it by um, Democrats. It requires a constitutional amendment. It's unlikely to happen, but there could be, uh, you could see in the years to come, a push to do that. Uh, they think they've got it nailed if they get a, a popular vote, uh, it, you know, because they've won the last few elections by the, through the popular vote. But I'm not sure. I'm not sure that they'd actually benefit from it long term. What we need today, what I call the new intellectual, would be any man or woman who is willing to think, meaning any man or woman who knows that man's life must be guided by reason by the intellect, not by feelings, wishes, whims, or mystic revelations. Any man or woman who values his life and who does not give, want to give in to today's cult of despair, cynicism, and impotence, and does not intend to give up the world to the dark ages and to the rule of the collectivist brutes. All right, before we go on, reminder. Please like the show. We've got 163 live listeners right now. Uh, 30 likes. That should be at least 100. I figure at least 100 of you actually like the show. Maybe there are like 60 of the Matthews out there who hate it. But, but at least the people who are liking it, you know, I want to see, see a thumbs up. There you go. Start liking it. I want to see that go to 100. All it takes is a click of a, a, click of a, a thing, whether you're looking at this uh, and, and, you know, the likes matter. It, it's not an issue of my ego. It's an issue of the algorithm. The more you like something, the more the algorithm likes it. So, you know, and if you don't like the show, give it a thumbs down. Let's see your actual views being reflected in the likes. But uh, if you like it, don't just sit there, help get the show promoted. Of course, you should also share and uh, you can support the show at youronbrookshow.com slash support or on Patreon or Subscribestar or Locals uh, and, uh, and show your support for, all, for, for, for the work, for the value hopefully you're receiving from this. And, uh, and of course, don't forget, if you're not a subscriber, even if, you, even if you just come here to troll or even if you're here like Matthew to defend Marx, uh, then uh, you should subscribe because that way you'll know when to show up. You'll know what shows are on, when they're on. You'll get notified, right? So, um, yes, like, share, subscribe, support. Like, share, subscribe, support. There you go. Easy. Do one or all of those, please. <laughs>